Hey guys, I am so excited to be finally filming this video for you. And if you don't know me, hi, my name is Shauna. I am a master artist and in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you how I get my signature beachy, messy wave look. Now, what you're going to need is a brush, a clip, but I don't have a clip, so I'm going to use a hair tie. Um, heat protector spray is a must. Um, the, or a... Hey guys, I am so excited to finally film this video for you. If you don't know me, my name is Shauna, and I am a master artist at Salon Coco Bon in Shrewsbury. Today, I am going to be sharing with you how I get my messy, beachy signature wave look. And let's just jump right into the video. So, you are going to need a heat protectant. This is the one by Bomb Dior. It, I'm sorry, the one by Orbe. It's called Bomb Dior, and this is an absolute must-have for me. Now, you're going to put this in your hair prior to drying it or prior to um, letting it air dry. This will act as a heat protectant up to 450 degrees. You can also use an alternative, just like a heat protector spray, but that's going to be an, an additional step. That's why I love a cream like this. So there's that. You're going to need a hairspray. Today I am just using what I have on hand and it's the cheese style and stay spray. And then you are also going to need a texture spray. Now a texture spray is a must must have for getting the, the um, beachy messy look. And this one is by the one and only Orbe. It's the dry texturizing spray. I absolutely love it. I just wanted to mention two other products that I love, the Super Shine Moisturizing Cream to blow out your hair. This also does have heat protectant. However, I prefer the Balm Dior for um, heat styling. And then I am also going to use the Gold Lush Nourish Nourishing Hair Oil in the end of my video. Um, if you don't have this, you can use any other um, lightweight oil, but this one is really great because it also has reparative properties. So, oh, you're also going to need a brush and a clip to clip your hair up, but I don't have a clip right now, so I'm gonna be using a hair tie. All right, guys, so, the first thing you're going to do is from right above your ear to the back, actually, you know what, I would say an inch above your ear to the back of your head, you're going to section off your hair and you will have I hope that this makes sense but um, you don't want the piece the section to be too small but you don't want it to be too big the bigger the section the looser your wave will be so if you want a really really loose almost n not how do I explain this like more of an undone finish you can make your sections a little bit bigger of course, you need a curling iron. This one is by Bioionic and it is a one inch curling iron. Now, I'm going to make another video on how to choose the perfect curling iron for you and what each curling iron size will do to your hair. But I have to say, for me, the one inch curling iron does it and I'll explain how I get different, um, different results with the same curling iron. So. I am putting my curling iron at 390 degrees. You never really want to go any higher than that. If your hair is fine, stay on 360 degrees. Um, and then if it is very highlighted, you also want to, I'm sorry, highlighted or damaged, you want to stay below, at or below 360 degrees. Now, you want to first spray the section with your hairspray and make sure to use a workable hairspray so that it is not super hard. Brush everything through so it's evenly distributed. Take your curling iron and I don't know if I mentioned this but I prefer a curling iron with a clamp. Um, I just find that the rods are a little bit harder to work with and take a little bit longer. This look literally takes me under 10 minutes to do so here we go. I am taking about a two inch wide section and I'm curling away from my face, leaving the ends out. I am leaving about two inches of ends out and I will just unravel and pull down. 
Now, if you don't pull down, you're not going to get that wave look. You're gonna get more of a curled look. On my next section, I am going to be curling coming forward. So we're switching the direction for more of a beachy, messy vibe. And what that's going to do is just create more texture within the hair. I'm still leaving that one inch out. I'm gonna to come to the other side. And usually I like to start in the front of my face coming away from my face. So that's what I'm doing. I am just curling it away. Now, my main, the main thing that people tell me when I am asked about how to do the style is that they, it never comes out right. And I think that what, what's happening is that you're thinking too much. Don't think about it. Like, I know I am a professional, but I honestly do not have a mirror right now and I'm kind of just feeling the hair and going with the flow. You don't want this to look perfect. You want it to look beachy and messy for that kind of vibe. Now, I'm done with that. And most of you guys will be able to take three sections, but if you have a ton of hair, you're gonna wanna take four. So that's my first section. And now I'm gonna come right above my eyebrows across to the back. And that's gonna be my second section. And I'm going to clip or tie the top up. And we're going to repeat that step. Hairspray everything. Make sure that you're only brushing out what is not already curled. And now, because the first piece was coming back, I'm gonna come forward on this next section. But it doesn't really matter as long as you are alternating the section. And now, as I was mentioning before, um, in order to get a different look with the same one inch curling iron, the bigger the section and the, big, the more hair you put, the looser the curl will be. So, and then if the smaller, the tighter the curl. So if you want like a really tight, tight kind of wave or curl, you wanna take a smaller section. Now see, I'm leaving about two to three inches out depending on what you want your look to be and pulling down. Take it coming on this side, opening up the clamp, entering it in, turning the hair, and leaving, oops, <laughs> leaving the hair out, pulling down. You do not need to leave the curling iron on your hair for long. As you can see, I am literally, oh, I forgot which way I went, but guess what? If I, if you forget which way you went, who cares? It's not supposed to be perfect, as I said. So I'm coming forward with this one, you guys could see how short of time I'm leaving on my hair, literally just pulling it down. And for the back, a lot of people say, oh, how do you get the back? Just pull it forward. It's not, you know, you don't think about it. And what's cool about this is that because you're leaving the end straight, you almost don't have to be, like you really don't have to be perfect with it because if you miss a piece or whatever, you're going to have those straight ends that are going to kind of mesh everything together, if that makes any sense. Okay, now I'm going to move on to my last section here. And I am going to spray it all. And guys, I am sorry, but my hair is pretty dirty. I'm actually, it's funny that I'm doing this because I'm actually going to be washing my hair. However, I was able to get away with not washing my hair with my Gold Lust Dry Shampoo by Orbe. There's nothing like this. I mean, that's just, that's just about it. Okay, so for my front pieces, I'm taking about an inch and a half to two inches. And as I mentioned, I like to go away from my face. So we're going to twist it and pull, whoops, pull down. See how that looks? See how the ends are straight? Now my next piece, oops, it's so hard for me to see guys. Um, my next piece is going to be coming towards my face. So I'm turning it, leaving it for a second and pulling down. See how that looks? Next piece, going away from my face, leaving the piece out, 
twisting up and pulling down. Next piece. See, this is a really thick piece. You know what I also like? I like when the sections are not always exactly the same because then you get different thicknesses and different waves in the hair and it just adds to that vibe. This is in the back. I'm just turning whichever way and pulling down. Now the other side, as I mentioned, I like my very front pieces coming away. So I am going to repeat the exact same thing here and pull down. See how that looks. I might want to curl that a little bit more on the ends. And then down. There we go. And then the piece after is going to come forward because we just went backwards. And when I say backwards, I mean away from the face. Pull down. And going away now. And pulling down. Okay. I think that's it. Now we look a little funky right now. I can't even see what I did, but hopefully it came out okay. Oh, I think this piece needs to be curled again. Okay, and one more. Oops. Now, do you see how quick that was? Like. Of course, if I were doing this in front of a mirror and I wasn't going to just wash my hair right now, I'd probably be a little tiny bit more meticulous with it, but not really, guys. Honestly, like in the morning when I'm getting ready for work, I don't have time. I have my two kids jumping on me, so this is basically what I do. Now, if you're looking a little weird, do not panic. This is what it's supposed to look like. I will go over and... Um, spray it with a little bit of hairspray before I run my hands through it but what you want to do and this is key to having your style last very long let everything cool down if you still feel that the curls are still or your hair is still warm just wait a couple minutes or wait 30 seconds just let it kind of cool down a little bit and now I am going to take my texturizing spray by Orbe and I am going to rake my hands through it but spray under, spray under, and then I'm going to come to this side, and you basically just want to separate it with your hands. If it does come out a little bit too curled, you can go ahead and brush it out. If it comes out like way too curly, then really brush it out, but that shouldn't happen. And what do you guys think? This is my pretty much everyday look. Um, I will be sharing with you guys how to get a wave that is a little bit more polished and not so messy. Basically, you will be just going back with the curling iron all in one all in one direction if you want it to be a little bit more polished and put together but i prefer this undone look let me know what you guys think what do you like do you like it to be messy do you like it to be perfect leave a comment down below um i do curl my hair a little bit differently i actually learned a new way um however i find that it is a little bit harder for me to teach and a little bit harder for you guys to do. It definitely takes a little bit more time. However, I've absolutely been loving the way that the curl or the wave comes out doing it that way. So let me know if you'd be interested in me filming um, another way to wave your hair. The other way kind of gives more of like that wavy kind of like, almost like your hair was braided. I, I, it's very hard to explain, um, but let me know if you guys want to see that. And I hope you guys enjoyed how this looks. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you next time. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Bye.